And like his cut is Corapus 10 and MK Bugnellas or Ali, Mubans cut more 10 down just for us to cover young King to Marangati and Tanguli. I don't understand why, but for sure, today in Testo, you know, but this is a land of Layana, Spawner, but why is the king of sneakers in Joburg? And what's the sneakers uh, movement doing into the subcult, I mean, different cultures in SA, in the street culture, so to say? My fear is on Mela Rai shop, it's probably Kofi and Nani, so relax, it's probably good to get Zagalani, then to be all right. They say I'm living like I never had a daddy. That's cause I never had a daddy. They say I'm living like I never had no problems. We always rolling deep, so we never had no problems. Boys and bucks, we run the city. We fucking up the scene, rock some shit you never seen. All my girls is European, and the hoopties always keen. Can we take it from the... A bunch of enjoy that, like not paying enough money for your hassle and stuff like that. This is you wake up for this. Is it cool with you, MK? Yeah, no doubt. Like right, fresh, my G. Yeah, like, uh, like we were just talking about how funny, how funny cats take our careers to be like it was more or less like a, like a hobby because yeah. when when cats like yo we need to do something like this and you ask like yo what's your budget and cats start. Like enough, like yo, you think I was gonna do this thing for free, you know? Especially like the sneaker culture. Yeah. In general, people think collectors or people who create content yeah. for the whole sneaker culture in Africa is like it's a hobby. It's not a hobby. I don't. It's not a side hustle. It's my life. Like I've been doing this for more than ten years. So for you to just come in. When I got to the game in Tulani Navelle, you guys been running things. You no know doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Like I mean, it, it's. For me, Pumendi, like personally, sure. like my uncles were heavy on the fashion shit. You know, they used to dance and shit like that. So, for for me, it just became a a passion that became a business. You know, and so, you're eating out of it. No doubt, no doubt. And all my niggas live life it's only hard to your niggas get right. Would you advise a kid who went to school, who went to tertiary, who went to you know what? I think if you love sneaker game, you can follow this passion, you can yeah. follow this career and start making a living out of it. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, definitely. I mean, I got four cars, I'm into vintage cars and shit like that. I live in a, in a fairly dope neighborhood. So <laughs> it, it, it's, it, it, there is money if you're willing to put on work. Yeah. And as it was like, for me, it, it kind of a bit took time because the culture was still small. Yeah. Uh, I remember like 10 years ago, like wearing all these shoes, different. cats yeah. look at you funny. Yeah. Or, you know <laughs> what I mean? All, all of, that, all of yeah. that vibe, like the whole underground sort of scene has become a bit over yeah. the ground. So there is a bit of money to make, there is a bit of... And I come from a marketing background and advertising background. Yeah. That's what I studied in TUT, so... And I had my, my own store at a very early age. Uh, Fresh, right? Yeah, uh, uh, no, 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 in PTA. PTA. Call 100% oh, yeah. flavor. 100%, okay. Then I moved uh, through with my gents. My yeah. gents is a local brand. I moved to, that's when I moved to Georgia. I was about 20. Yeah. I was doing the PR. We opened two stores, one in Rosemary, one in Carlton. Yeah. And from there, I opened my own brand called I'm a Keep Keep with Keep Scoop Keep, Makatini yeah. and Umkosana. So the, the, the whole journey has always been about the, the whole culture. Mm -hmm. And then we, uh, my other boy opened a store called Peep Show, which was in Parktown North, okay. which saw like sneakers and vinyl toys and shit like that. And that's when Nike picked us up. Yeah. They wanted to open a brand space in, in Malvo. Yeah. Um, so it was me, OK, Malum Kuket, Usanele, Umume. Everybody knows Mume, Mume and Mo. Obviously, yeah. uh, we Tolles opened. Tolles wife, guys. Yeah, Tolles Moore's wife. <laughs> so we opened one store, and um, um, we opened like a, it wasn't even a store; it was more of a brand space. Yeah. In Melville, uh, whereby all the celebrities used to come pick up product. Yeah. We'll do like uh, product installation based around the music. Yeah. So a lot of DJs that you see now that are popping were really part of that that gallery scene. I got my ACG Nike ACG ACG boots. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. It was around two thousand and six, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. It was so, tertiary, so yeah, yeah. Those joints were we used to bring product that was never in the country at that time. So the level of like premium product that 
essay I was getting started at the gallery yeah, yeah. and obviously filtered on to Shelf Life. Shelf Life yeah, and there was, yeah, a, yeah. The, there was a store called Bonified also in I Cape Town. It, yeah. And uh, a, store, a store is still there. It's more of like a lifestyle store where they sell yeah. like cultured books, art books, mm -hmm. sneakers, and a bit of like cut and sew type of clothing. Yeah. So those stores really derived from what Nike was doing because we, we did a lot of like events, especially yeah. around the World Cup. Because yeah. the whole hop of it was this dude from the UK who came to SA working for Nike from the UK and he wanted to kind of uh, uh, build towards 2010. Oh, yeah. And we did a pop up for six months. Mm -hmm. It was totally successful. Mm -hmm. They gave us like about five years to kind of kill the whole thing. So we had Dip Street, Dip yeah. Street, one of the, the, the premium stores in Johannesburg, uh, owned by a good, good friend of mine, Utusa, uh, bringing in like the most limited as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the store is definitely looked at as one of the, 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 the ones on top in terms of the hierarchy okay. of where you can pick up your shoes. So okay. that's why I decided to come to, to, come here. to, the, to the joint. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. It's sick. It's crazy, eh? No doubt. I and I see in this shop, what's your favorite sneak that you go for? Uh, I mean, the, the, the 13s, definitely the 13s, the, the OG colorways. Mm. I was always like a fan the, of the... The ones? Uh, no, okay, these the 13s, These yeah. are the 13s? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, these are one of my... Obviously, for the basketball feel, these are one of my favorites. The, there's a black and white colorway, which is like on the movie You Got Game, yeah. which is like also my favorite movies of Spike Lee, Spike Lee joint. With I've Denzel seen some feelers looking like this. Not really, like uh, it's yeah. Well, I mean the 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 feeler came through as well with the bulky type of oh, shoes yeah. and shit like that. But I mean, never you never. can't compare the Jordan to a feeler, nigga. That's not gonna happen. Oh uh, shit! The motocross joints, uh, Jordan fours, yeah. Jordan fours as well. I got a pair of these. Uh, my only problem is with the leather; it breaks really quickly yeah. once you wear it. But also like dope silhouette. I mean, when this sneakers joint uh, dropped, it was also like the, the crazy part about it is like shoes were designed in a certain way. And when Tinker Headfield, which was one of the biggest designers at yeah. the Nike headquarters, came out with the with the with the silhouette like this, it was like sneakers were taking another look. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. NMDs, obviously, okay. these were like when they dropped. Obviously, it's like a new school. That's when Yeezy was really taking over the Adidas yeah. and then, uh, you know, to drop NMDs and to drop like, uh, uh, what they call it, the, the, what's that technology they got, the, 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 the boost on it, that should change the whole game, mm. you know what I mean? In terms of comfortability and, 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 and the, the, the whole swag of yeah. it, you feel me? All right. Yeah. All right, but for you. I think we're good. You got enough, huh? We got enough.